Hello there and welcome back to the Achievement Planner and today I'm coming to you with another Life is Strange game, the True Colors Life is Strange game, which is new to Xbox Game Pass and so I'm going to go over this with you today and uh, it was a pretty good game. So here are uh, 40 achievements for a thousand gamer score and one out of ten difficulty like these games are always. And this one's not super long so it's about six to eight hours to complete and play through one should give you all the achievements, which you can usually go back and collect afterwards. But, you know, I don't usually do that. So, category one, story achievements. Five achievements for 300 gamer score. And these are the ones that you get just for playing the game. So, that's cool right there. All right, category two, miscellaneous achievements. Four achievements for 100 gamer score. And I haven't had a miscellaneous achievements category yet on these games. So, number one is bird spotting. 25 gamer score. Help the bird watcher find her bird. So, at some point in Chapter 2, you're going to leave the bar, and you're going to go behind... Well, you'll see in the video. And you're going to find the the bird spotter. No, no, the bird watcher. What am I talking about? And you're going to scan the bird watcher. So, you have this ability to scan people's emotions and feelings. So, you're going to scan the bird watcher, and then you're going to talk to the bird watcher. And then after that, you're going to go around the area, find the bird, and, uh, like, you know say look there's the bird and then you're going to go back to the bird watcher and i'm not going to really tell you all the details about it so you can kind of figure it out your, on your own but that's that's that one that's going to be in chapter two along with the next one which you can get right after when you go to the record store and this one is found dog 25 gamer score so you're going to help the hoodie guy find his dog so you, when you go into the record store you're going to scan this dude and then after that you're going to turn around and look at the bulletin board and read the, the, the thing about the dog, and then you're going to go back to him and talk to him, and guess what? That will actually give you the achievement right there. It's an easy one. That's the, the next uh, miscellaneous achievement is in Chapter 3. This one's called Earworm Squasher, 25 gamer score, and none of these are hard, but it's just the little details that can help. So what you need to do is find the song for the student. So you're going to go up to the student sitting at the table. You're going to scan that student, and they're going to be singing. Then you have to go to Steph and Ryan and pick the song option, and they're going to talk about it. And then you're going to go to Jed and talk to do the song option. And I didn't do the song option at first. That's why I was a little confused. And then once you get that behind the cash register, you'll be able to take the track, and then you'll put it into the jukebox, and it's the second track on the jukebox. You just play it. And then that'll give you that achievement, Earworm Squasher. And all of that was taking place in the bar, by the way. All right, and so then for the last one, exactly 731 for 25 gamer score this is helping the jelly bean counter win the contest so at the at the festival this is what's what uh during chapter four during the festival and you're gonna talk to this guy who's trying to count the jelly beans and you're gonna talk to him and then you're gonna give him the option 800 after that then you're gonna scan the lady behind the counter and she's gonna say some stuff and then you're gonna choose the option 700 when you talk to the jelly bean counter again then you're going to scan that lady again, and then she will have given you the answer of 731, and then you talk to him again, and you choose the option answer. So that right there is basically, no, that's not basically, those are the achievements for miscellaneous. Yeah, so next is category number three, which is chapter one memories, six for 100 gamer score, six achievements. And the first two you're going to find in your apartment that you're living in. Um, number one is crack. It's actually going to be on the wall across from the stairs. And then the other one you're going to find on the desk. It's a letter to this person, Riley. Who's Riley? You'll find out. All right. So number three is Officer Fish. That's when you're down at the bar right after you leave your apartment. And you're going to find a business card on the bar. And that's going to be for Officer Fish. Who, who That's actually his name. And number four, this one is... When you're searching for Ethan, the little kid, and you're going to be at this at this site, and right outside the, the gate, you're going to find a hard hat, a broken hard hat, and that's going to be the head count one. Um, and then after that, once you're in the site, you're going to find an area with a whole bunch of graffiti, and on the wall, you're going to find a phone, and guess what? That's the phone one. That's right. And then number six, emotional enthusiast. Once you find all those memories in that chapter, you'll get that one. Uh-huh. There you go. Category number four, chapter two memory achievements. And this is six achievements as well, 100 gamer score. So number one, time for something new. So you're going to be in your apartment. You're going to go up the stairs to the roof. There's like this little area above your uh, outside. And in, in one of the uh, flowery area, one of the flower pot things, you're going to find 
a button, and that is going to be the button memory. Number two, no handouts. This is when you go back down to the bar, and on the bar you're going to find a check, and that's going to be rent check. Number three, there's the same hallway in the bar. It's like from the from the opposite side of the entrance, and in this hallway you're going to find, you're going to go back to this place a whole bunch of times. You're going to find an umbrella, and that's the next memory. And then number four is when you're in in the shop with, with the gummies and stuff. So when you go there, you're going to go to the back room and you're going to see some gummies. And that's going to be your pro tip memory, your gummies memory. And then number five is when you go to the flower shop. I did this one last in this in this chapter. So Team Chomp Bot. And this is you're going to be looking in a cabinet and you'll find a t-shirt there. And same thing, six, you'll get amateur archaeophile. Yeah, I think yeah, I said that right. Uh, when you get all of them. There you go. So the next category is category five, chapter three, memory achievements. And guess what? Six achievements for 100 gamer score. That's right. So number one is in the same place that you just got the umbrella, the same hallway, Hell Divers. And this is where you do the bomber jacket this time. You'll scan this with your memory ability. Uh, number two is Ethan's Dower. So when you're fighting in this LARP, this like this, you know, this uh, real uh, live action battle game thing you're doing with Ethan, uh, you're after your first enemy you kill, well, you're not really going to kill him, you're going to turn around and there's a dollar laying on the floor and that's going to be your dollar memory. Number three, and how does that make you feel? This is when you are in the LARP as well. You go outside the bar and there's going to be an appointment slip on the ground. And there is number three. Four upright and above ground. This is when you go in the bar and in that back area by the pool table, there's going to be a paper on one of the tables with names on it. And that's all paper. And number five is when you go to the record store and Valkyrie is the cat. And she just has to look at Valkyrie's dish. And then memory collector six is all of them. And you're probably seeing a pattern here, just like the other games. So category six, chapter four, memory achievements, six achievements for 100 gamer score. Number one is pressed rows. This is when you're in your apartment in the beginning of the chapter. And you're going to be go look on the wall and you're going to find a rose that's pressed in a picture frame. I think it's a picture frame. And that's your memory. Number two and three are both at the um, at the festival. So after you do all the jelly bean thing, I did the jelly bean thing right away. Then you go to the drum set that's on stage and you're going to try to, you know, you're going to scan it and you're going to get the drum kit memory. And then behind the stage, you're going to get find a microphone and that's in front of God and everybody. So after that, there's going to be a point when you leave the festival and you're in town. I actually did the CIT sticker memory first. So I went past the flower shop and in the windows behind the, like at the back of the flower shop, there's a sticker on the glass. So I actually did that one first because I wasn't sure if when I go in the bar, if I would miss anything, just whatever. But yeah, so I did that one and then I went over to the bar and I went in that same hallway. Can you even believe it? And I looked at the Polaroid on the wall and I got the Polaroid memory. And of course I got emotional archeologist after that. So on to the last category. And this is Category 7, Chapter 5, Memory Achievements. Seven achievements for 200 gamer score. There's an extra one in here. So number one is Scary News. So you're going to be going through a whole bunch of flashbacks, kind of. So Scary News is where you were in the hospital room the first time. And on the side, of on the table there, or on the counter, there's a keychain. You just have to look at a keychain, and that's Mom's Keys Memory. Number two, I thought I missed this one and I didn't, some kind of fight. So you're in the house, their house, I guess Alex's house, and there's a red door on the left. And to get this, you have to not go through the red door when you're supposed to. So their whole scene plays out and uh, her brother and her dad come in and I was like, oh, I missed it. How? So anyway, then, then you, I didn't miss it. So then before you go through that red door, when you can finally move, you need to go into the right door into the kitchen and there's a business card there, right? Make sure you get it there before you go through the red door. Uh, next is guitar strings. You're in another section and you're going to look on the bunk beds and you're going to find guitar strings and there's that memory. Number four is absolutely not possible to miss as far as I know. So once you're in the, in the mine, you will find the pendant and I've been told you can't miss it. So I didn't miss it. It's part of the story. So anyways, that's kind of a story achievement. And number five, you are a hell diver now. And that is when at the total end of the story, you'll be back in your apartment and on the chair is the bomber jacket and you have to look at that memory. And then when you get that, you'll get emotional unearthing, which is all the memories in that chapter and Haven Historian, all the memory collectibles in the entire game. And that right there is the entire game. And it was a really cool game. I hope you enjoy it.
And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time on Achievement Planner.